Chapter 4 So King Solomon was king over all Israel, and these were his officials, Azariah the son of Zadok the priest, Elihoreph and Ahijah the sons of Shisha, scribes, Jehoshaphat the son of Ahilud the recorder, Benaiah the son of Jehoiada over the army, Zadok and Abiathar the priests, Azariah the son of Nathan over the officers, Zebud the son of Nathan, a priest and the king's friend, Ahishar over the household, and Adoniram the son of Abda over the labor force. And Solomon had twelve governors over all Israel who provided food for the king and his household. Each one made provision for one month of the year. These are their names, Ben-Hur in the mountains of Ephraim, Ben-Dikir in Mekaz, Shealbim, Beth Shemesh, and Elon, Beth Hanan. Then he said, In Aruboth, to him belong Soko and all the land of Ephraim. Ben Abinadab, in all the regions of Dor, he had Tephath, the daughter of Solomon, as wife. Beana, the son of Ahilud, in Teanach, Megiddo, and all Bershian, which is beside Zaratan, below Jezreel, from Bershian to Abel Mechola, as far as the other side of Joknia. Ben Giber, in Remoth Gilead, to him belong the towns of Jair, the son of Manasseh, in Gilead. To him also belong the region of Argob in Bashan, sixty large cities with walls and bronze gate bars. Ahinadab, the son of Edo, in Mahanaim. Ahimaaz, in Naphtali, he also took Basimath, the daughter of Solomon, his wife. Beana, the son of Hushai, in Asher, and Eloth. Jehoshaphat, the son of Barua, in Issachar. Shimei, the son of Elah, in Benjamin. Geber, the son of Uri, in the land of Gilead, in the country of Sihon, king of the Amorites, and of Og, king of Bashan. He was the only governor who was in the land. Judah and Israel were as numerous as the sand by the sea in multitude, eating and drinking and rejoicing. So Solomon reigned over all kingdoms, from the river to the land of the Philistines, as far as the border of Egypt. They brought tribute and served Solomon all the days of his life. Now Solomon's provision for one day was thirty cores of fine flour, sixty cores of meal, ten fatted oxen, twenty oxen from the pastures, and one hundred sheep, besides deer, gazelles, roebucks, and fatted fowl. For he had dominion over all the region on this side of the river, from Tifsa even to Geza, namely over all the kings on this side of the river. And he had peace on every side all around him. And Judah and Israel dwelt safely, each man under his vine and his fig tree, from Dan as far as Beersheba all the days of Solomon. Solomon had 40,000 stalls of horses for his chariots and 12,000 horsemen. And these governors, each man in his month, provided food for King Solomon and for all who came to King Solomon's table. There was no lack in their supply. They also brought barley and straw to the proper place for the horses and steeds, each man according to his charge. And God gave Solomon wisdom and exceedingly great understanding and largeness of heart like the sand on the seashore. Thus Solomon's wisdom excelled the wisdom of all the men of the east and all the wisdom of Egypt, for he was wiser than all men, than Ethan, the Ezrahite, and Heman, Shalkol, and Darda, the sons of Mechol, and his fame was in all the surrounding nations. He spoke three thousand proverbs, and his songs were one thousand and five. Also he spoke of trees, from the cedar tree of Lebanon even to the hyssop that springs out of the wall. He spoke also of animals, of birds, of creeping things, and of fish. And men of all nations, from all the kings of the earth who had heard of his wisdom, came to hear the wisdom of Solomon.